Hey, what's up? Me again with another exciting new video. Well, maybe not that exciting, but well, anyways. So today's topic is gonna be something pretty old, and I guess everyone knows how to do this. Well, most people do, but there are obviously some that don't actually know how to do that, and by that I mean changing the PSP's theme. Yes, that's right. Themes. Now, there are many videos on YouTube and tutorials all over the net. I've seen a few of those, uh, but I'll try to cover pretty much all the basics there are to know in this one video so that you might, may, uh, I don't know, start uh, upgrading your PSP right away. Uh, you'll know everything there is to know. Uh, except for the theme creation, of course, because I never tried that myself, and I believe it's too complicated. Yeah. Well, at least it's more complicated than just uh, pressing the create button. So I've never tried that. Anyway, so I guess we shall get started right about now. Now what? what you pretty much see here is well not the PSP but the theme it's an ordinary theme that comes with any firmware that you might currently have this is the default theme now we can change colors and all that stuff but I don't know that's not really what what I would want uh, I mean I do like the red color here but <laughs> that's too hard to see stuff anyway I like the green too <laughs> so anyway we're gonna be changing the theme first of all I'm gonna show you how to change um, PTF themes um, then I'm gonna show you how to change and uh, enable custom theme files anyway so let's let's do it So, now you can see my PC's view. First of all, let's download some themes. Now, I have this site right here. Um, I prepared it in advance. PSPSlimHacks.com PSPPTF themes. Uh, those are ordinary ones that just change the icon. So, I downloaded this Black Mirror PSP theme and the Resident Evil. Uh, both of those are PTFs. Now, if you want to, you can Google for PTF themes. They're firmware free, so nothing to do that. Now, first of all, let's connect our PSP to the PC, like so, right about now. Okay, let it rip. Now, all the themes go into the PSP theme folder. Now, I came prepared and I moved those already now see they both are under four or five hundred kilobytes so that's pretty much there is to it now let's jump back to my PSP so here we are back on my lovely PSP now this is where we left off with the God of War wallpaper so in the theme settings we go theme uh, there are the two suckers okay that's black mirror no maybe let's try the uh, resident evil first yes all right whatever importing the custom theme please wait taking too long okay done so not too much of a difference but the images seem different not all of them because the theme may be older than the icons there but mostly every folder folder is okay game sharing memory stick whatever okay so let's try another one please wait okay okay that's done wow looks like that girl's eating a candy Share it with me. Okay, so everything's pretty much in place. Now you see how it looks like, but 
it still is pretty much the same XMB but with new icons and it does nothing actually changes too much the music player is the same and uh, well in many of the PDF themes um, there are custom music player equalizers um, I mean visualizers I don't know why they're called equalizers here anyway so that's about it so we're back in my PC and uh, I came prepared again oh and by the way be sure to check out my YouTube channel we've got great videos going on uh, subscriber level in increasing so you'll find anything reviews uh, some mods maybe I don't know which pretty much reviews gameplays tests like going cam tests and a parody while wow, people watch this stuff okay anyway so first of all Google for some CT themes now I'm running on a custom firmware 5.50 so be sure to Google for the theme that is made for your firmware because these CTFs are firmware sensitive now I have this great site themes for PSP gen uh, trober 94themesgencom it's a great site it lets you scrub through all the themes and see what they're like before downloading so that's a really great site but uh, it's currently for 550 now my favorites red bread dragon waves oh <laughs> okay and little big planet so download some themes okay now oh and before I forgot uh, you should also Google for a plugin that's called the CXMB now themes first of all go to your ordinary PSP themes folder like so I've got a bunch of those they're almost five megabytes each so watch out they really do eat now this random CDF comes with the plugin I'll show you how to download it in just a second now get back to Google and CXMB plugin and it is firmware sensitive like like uh, the themes themselves so you gotta check uh, Google for the one that uh, is made for your firmware now there's this random one I clicked psphacks.com uh, there it is downloads I guess I'm using this one I don't remember exactly but this one works just fine I'm sure mm. 20 comments it's beta but I guess it's not anymore anyway so okay so you know where the themes go and the plugin goes to the root of the memory stick in its own folder CXMB now I've got two of those uh, 550 is from the new version like it's the new version for my current firmware I was running on uh, 5.00 m33 uh, back in the day so I left the original plugin uh, it's the CXMB one uh, just in case I might want to go back to the m33 so okay and of course like all plugins you gotta write this one little line in your VH oh, vsh.txt file and uh, open it up uh, oh sorry for that it's CXMB whatever now make sure it's CXMB not SE plugins because as you can remember this goes there and uh, 550 is not necessary unless you rename your, your, your plugin like that. So I've got a bunch of all, all those other plugins. <laughs> so you can see the list. Oh, and by the way, if you don't want to go to the recovery menu and enable the plugin, you can just add a number one at the end. And after rebooting the PSP, it will read as an enabled plugin. So that's good. Okay, back to my PSP. We go.